The screencast is an introduction to graph theory. Graph theory originated almost 300 years ago in the 1700s uh, when Leonard Euler, who was a famous mathematician, happened to be in the town of Königsberg in Prussia. And the inhabitants of the town would amuse themselves on Sundays uh, by walking through the town on a nice day, enjoy the good weather, and they would want to, they'd try to walk through the town, crossing each bridge exactly once. And Euler, noticing this problem, said, well, we could, we can get rid of a lot of the unnecessary detail if we represent it like this over here, where each of the dots represent a piece of land. So, okay, A here represents the A over here, which is an island in the river. And then each of the lines represents a bridge that crosses the river and connects two of the land areas. So you can see there's really basically four land areas, A, B, C, and D. And there are two bridges from a, between A and B, two bridges between A and C, and one bridge each between A and D, B and D, and C and D. As we'll see, this simplification of the problem in terms of getting, wet, getting rid of unnecessary details leads to a pretty elegant solution of this. But before we examine Euler's problem in detail, we're going to have to have a number of definitions. And before we get there, though, I want to do want to mention how extensively graph theory and how useful it has turned out to be for computer scientists, economists, and all sorts of different kinds of scientists in terms of modeling and being able to solve problems. So some of the things computer scientists have used it for and are using it for include communications networks, map and trip planning, think of Google Maps, for instance, project planning, in other words, managing large projects of dependent tasks, like building a bridge or building a house, um, matching medical students to residency programs, scheduling dependent tasks, perhaps in a computer, determining which instructions uh, what order to execute instructions in, and robot motion planning, which is important for all sorts of automated manufacturing. So, first of all, what is a graph? Well, a graph consists of two things, and we saw those in the picture back of, that Leonard Euler made of the bridges of Königsberg. The first is a vertex set whose elements are called vertices, or nodes, or points. So those are the red little points in, on the map there. The second thing is an edge set, or a set of edges connecting pairs of vertices. Um, sometimes those edges will have directions associated with them, in which we call, they're called directed edges, or arcs. And if, notice that each edge, whether it's directed or not, is associated with a pair of vertices, and if the edges are directed, the graph is called a directed graph. So a graph is sometimes represented informally by a set of vertices and a set of edges. Now, it, it's important here that you really make sure that you can state and understand this definition of a graph and how it relates to the previous picture on the first slide. So let's talk a little bit more detail about an undirected graph. Okay, now each edge, remember an edge is a pair of vertices, you can think of it that way. And now, since it's undirected, they're unordered pairs of vertices. So, to be consistent, we would normally write this as just E is equal to the set X, Y, because there's no ordering between X and Y. And again, so then E would be a set of unordered pairs of vertices. One pair for each edge. However, from a notation perspective, many times, we, as long as we know the graph is undirected, we don't represent it necessarily as a set, we just represent it as a pair. Now, this can be a little confusing, uh, but just remember if the, if the graph is undirected, then x, y is not an ordered pair, but it's just the name of the edge. So let's look at, here's a, here's a very simple graph. Here's a vertex 0, here's the vertex 1. There's an edge 0, 1, 
um, that connects 0 and 1, or it could be 1, 0. Again, the order doesn't important is not important because this is an unordered or an undirected graph. Um, 6 is a vertex, 5 is a vertex. There's an edge between them. We might write that 6, 5 or 5, 6, etc. So what about directed graphs? Well, now the pairs are ordered pairs. So now the order is important. And if a graph is a directed graph, then there's a unique edge pointing from x to y. Then we write e x comma y. Now this really does denote the direction that it's from x to y. And again, the set of edges are going to be regarded as a set of ordered pairs. And then there's a lot of terminology. It's indicative of the picture, and so it should be fairly easy to remember. If I have an edge, say there's an edge here from vertex 0 to vertex 4, we call vertex 0 the origin or the source or the initial point of the edge E, and 4 would be the target or terminating vertex or terminal point. So again, each edge will have a, an origin or initial point, and it will have a terminating point or terminal point and a target. So this edge here from 3 to 2 would have an origin or source 3 and a target or terminating vertex 2. Again, these terminologies are all used interchangeably and they one unfortunate thing about graph theory, since it's relatively recent in its formalization, is that uh, you need to be careful in re reading books. Different authors use slightly different terminology, so you always need to make sure that you understand what terminology the author is using. Yet more terminology. Again, try to think of the picture. I think it makes it a lot easier to remember things. Uh, two vertices that are connected by an edge are called adjacent to one another. In other words, there's a direct connection between them in some sense, and the vertices are called the endpoints of the edge. An edge is said to be incident to each of its endpoints. If a graph is directed, an edge pointing from the vertex x to the vertex y is said to be incident from x, incident to y. And we won't use this terminology too much, but the, the, the main point here is that the edge points from x 2y. An edge connecting a vertex to itself is called a loop, and this can happen either in a directed or an undirected graph. Uh, two edges connecting the same pair of points and pointing in the same direction if the graph is directed are called parallel or multiple. In this case, E is actually a multi-set rather than a set. This uh, won't happen too much in this course, but it is important um, and, and does occur uh, in many applications. A graph with neither loops or multiple edges is called a simple graph, and that's what we will mostly be dealing with. So there won't be multiple edges between two vertices, and there won't be a loop that just loops around and comes back to the, for where, it's, where it started. So here are a couple graphs for you to think about. Um, and just from the picture, I haven't written formally uh, the vertex set or the edge set, but are they directed or undirected? Write out the set or multi-set of vertices and edges for each graph, and what vertices are adjacent to each other in each graph. So just to get you started, this graph over on the left has five vertices, okay, and there are no edges that are incident to E, and but there are a couple of edges between A and C, an edge between C and D, etc. This edge, as you can see, has arrows in it, and so now you should be able to review the definitions given in the earlier in the video and answer the above questions. So pause the video and answer the questions and then I'll come back and indicate some of the answers. So this first graph on the left is an undirected graph. Uh, the vertex set is, so V is equal to the set A, B, C, D, E. 
and the edge multiset is equal to AB, AC, another copy AC, CD, BD, BD, and I think I said AB at the beginning. So that's the edge set. The second graph is a directed graph. It has a loop from C to C and another loop from E to E. And again, the set of vertices is A, B, C, D, E. And I won't go through all the edges, but now you do need to be careful about the order in which you give the vertices. There's an edge from A to B, an edge from E to A, an edge from B to E, an edge from E to D, etc.